Shalom. All praises due unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakah Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, that great millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopefully elect Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baraka Thum. To the sincere believers, the Akim and the Akwath, out there keeping the faith of our Lord Yahweh Shai and believing upon the words of prophecy until we are redeemed. It's the brother Azariah, just back to touch on this uh, TikTok, and I got an article as well that's going into this digital CBDC payment. And um, we see that around the earth, different nations, they're putting their centralized currencies, digital currencies, should I say, onto the market. And this is a heavy push by all nations to implement this um, digital payment system. And it's no different in America. The same thing is happening in Europe, Australia. You know, they came out and said that they're going completely cashless. So it's only a matter of time before this is rolled out on a worldwide scale. You know, and um, of course, we always bring it out. Revelation 13 and 16 on down that he's going to cause all. You know, so everyone upon the earth is going to be faced with this hour of temptation now the cbdc's this is just a uh you know blockchain medium in which you're going to make payments so this in and of itself is not the mark uh the mark is a certain device that you're going to take that's going to go under the skin you know brothers have done many videos to show you that the elites themselves have even said this going back to the 90s and even before that that ultimately they want to be under the skin. And uh, the technology is here in today's time. Let me put this on D&D. You know, the, the uh, technology is here in today's time to where um, they have these certain devices that are ready to go. The infrastructure is set up. You have um, Elon Musk with the, the Neuralink. They're actually doing human trials right now. Um and you already have the uh, wallet more chip out that people already have. You know what I'm saying? You already have early adopters of this technology that are already using it and fully functional with it. But the time is coming where it's going to be mandated to where you're going to have to have these certain things in order to operate within society. And it's all going to be tied to a, a credit score. You know, it's all going to be tied to um, a... Uh, carbon footprint, you know, pretty much the government is going to know everything about you. You see, so this is what the men of the Lord have been talking about. And we're in those times where uh, the devil, he's about to come forth with this uh, satanic agenda. You know, so we'll go ahead and play this TikTok and I got an article to go with it as well. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. I'm trying to tell you how CBDCs are creeping. SWIFT completes a pivotal CBDC test, paving the way for digital currency integration, getting one step closer to implementing CBDCs. I don't even know how to even describe it. We're trying to tell you guys it's happening. So everybody that are naysayers on cryptocurrency, digital currency, and all this cash is king, and oh, go buy gold, knowing they don't even own a piece of gold. It's coming. It's coming. Now look, the scriptures say that in the day of affliction, they going to cast their silver and gold into the streets. So physical money is going to be a thing of the past. In this new system, you're not going to be able to use physical money, not even gold and silver. Everything is going to be on this digital blockchain system. So there is going to be no escape. It's either going to be one or two things. Either you're going to accept the beast mark or you're going to go without. You're going to choose to be outside the system and suffer for righteousness sake. That's the only two options that you're going to have. And it's not going to be a thing where um, the powers that be are going to come and hold you down and force you to take it. No, this is going to be a voluntary thing. Again, that's why it says to cause all. So he's not going to force you. He's not going to hold you down and make you take it. No, he, he's basically going to present you with a with an ultimatum. Either, hey, if uh, you want to keep your house or if you want to keep your car if you want to um 
you know, pay for things. Well, this is going to be the new way in which you're going to do it. And if you don't have the CBDC, which the CBDC is going to be connected to the mark, which is the RFID micro C hip, all these things are going to be interconnected. You know, this is called the uh, fourth industrial revolution, the internet of things, the internet of bodies. You know, so all these terms are out there. You know, we touch on these things regularly, man, but the point is the time is coming where you're going to have to make a choice. It's either you're going to serve the Lord and choose to be outside of this devil system and suffer for righteousness sake, or you're going to be a coward. You know, you're going to bend the knee, you know, out of fear and out of, uh, you know, lack of faith. And, and you're, you're, you're going to take this devil's, um, mark, you know, cause when you go into the mark of the beast in, in the scriptures, this is a certain mark, you know, or um, a, a a device that is connected to um, to a certain man. All right. So this mark that people are going to take is is basically going to mark you as a part of this B system. It's going to mark you as, you know, you giving your allegiance unto this certain beast. You know what I'm saying? Which we uh, we know that um, the beast that is in power right now is the revived Roman Empire. And who resides over this beast? Well, it's the so-called white man, which whose biblical nationality is Esau Edom. So he's pushing all these nations to implement these um, central bank digital currencies. Don't get it twisted. You know, just because you might see China and uh, Zimbabwe and these different nations, yeah, they are developing their own countries to, you know, pretty much get away from, from the dollar. But it all works into the hands of the elites anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, all these nations um, are going to come under the authority of the beast. You see, so they're going to have to have this technology. They're, they're going to have to have this infrastructure set up to where the people can operate on. You see? But, it, yeah, it's coming. It's here, actually. It's here, actually. This test had a specific emphasis on digital ledger technology and smart contracts. Those smart contracts is what's going to be the problem. They could code in something of if your credit score isn't above 630 or something like that, you automatically don't have access to spend your money on certain items. They could code in something that says, hey, this person is blocked on Facebook for saying something that we don't like. Okay, well, they can't shop on a marketplace or if they can't use their money to use any type of meta products. This is, this is the beginning of what they call a social credit score. It's happening. People think this is fake or some type of conspiracy. It's happening right in front of your faces. Now, this is why I'm your daily guide to help you navigate the matrix. To show you these things happening with proof. We're definitely going to keep a close eye on this. So make sure you guys get your Bitcoin. I'm not telling you this is not investment advice. But Bitcoin is... See, bro, he talking about Bitcoin. Listen, man. Is not going to be no way out of this system. Like I said, it's going to be one or two things. Either you're going to get down with the beast or you're going to be without. That's it. Gold and silver is not going to save you. Bitcoin, Bitcoin was, was set up as a medium to get people used to this digital blockchain system. Who do you think created Bitcoin? Who do you think set up these, um, you know, early digital blockchain systems in which you can trade you know, on, on the, you know, the uh, black market and it, it, like, who, who do you think set that up, man? Esau set it up. They say they don't even know who the creator of uh, Bitcoin is. You know, then they got world coin. Like, yo, people in Europe is, is over there right now scanning their eyeballs, man. You know, to, to get in, to be early adopters of this technology. Like I, I remember, you know, Myself and other brothers, you know, did videos on that a couple months ago. Like people was really lined up around the block to get this world coin. So the whole world is literally wondering after the beast, man. And uh, when 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 he does bring this M M A R to the K, they go they gonna go for it because they trust in this world. They trust in the beast. Like that's all they know their whole life. They're not inclined. Towards your how about you know, shot? Ultimately, the Lord ain't dealing with these people, man. So I see what he's saying. 
you know, he he's basically trying to give you a way out of this this system, but there you, there is no way out. All right, the only way out is death or be in jail or 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 you get beamed up. That's the only way out of it, man. But as far as you thinking that you're you're gonna have some other way to um get away from Esau's advances, no. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen, man. But let's jump let's let's go to the article, right? It says here, Swift says C B D C testing for trade payments showing positive results. All right, so they bringing it out now that uh this thing is pretty much ready to go. And like I mentioned earlier, this uh um Australia, they're going cashless and, and they're going all digital. And I forget I believe it's Ukraine. I believe Ukraine is like all digital now too. They're not even using cash over over there since that whole war popped off. So you know, we're in the days where there's this accelerated push to advance this technology, to advance this system. Because as it says, Revelation twelve and twelve, the devil know he has a short time, so he's gonna come with that great wrath. This is what you're seeing. All right, these devils have to advance and push their agenda with warp speed. Because they see that uh, the Lord is going to be coming back. Why do you think these these elites are going in into the bunkers? Why do you think that they're, they're building bunkers? You know, they're 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 selling assets. They're creating crime in these cities ultimately because they know that their time is up. But this uh, CBDC, this is just one step closer to the mark being rolled out and mandated. That's what you got to understand. Swift says it is encouraged by testing it it conducted yeah, they, they, they worded that I guess they meant to say uh, it is encouraged by testing and uh, conducting into how digital trade platforms can interact with central bank digital currencies to facilitate trade payments the organization says simu simulations it ran in conjunction with commercial and central banks suggests that using CBDCs for payments and trade deals can be simpler and faster than current paper-based processes. So we've been seeing that they've been pushing that thing of convenience, right? Oh, this is this is safer, it's it's, it's uh you know more secure, it is faster, you know, and, and these Americans, these Babylonians, they're they're all about convenience. So of course the powers that be, they they have to push that unto the people. So that it's more easily uh, acceptable. Participants highlighted the potential of this solution to reduce trade payment delays, enhance trust among trade parties, and, and significantly lower transaction costs. So there's perks to this thing, right? And I forget the name of the, of the system that they... It's actually up and running right now. Um, oh, man. Can't believe it's slipping my mind right now. They launched it like a couple months ago, man. I'm, I'm trying to, you know what? It's all good. You know, Lord willing, it it it, it uh, comes back to me. You know, but they just launched something like a couple months ago. That's it's like uh, I can't remember the name, but anyway, um, yeah, Swift, a bank-owned cooperative that operates the global payment messaging system says in a report published last month it says cbdc's also known as stable coins are digital versions of fiat currencies unlike stable coins issued by commercial entities such as tether and ripple they are provided by central banks you see that so you're gonna have to go to the central bank in order to get your funds okay and these funds are going to be all digital so like uh, bro said in that video, if uh, you step out of line in any way, if you post something on Facebook that is deemed offensive by the powers that be, they can shut down your bank account, right? If uh, you plan to go on vacation and you piss off the elites, you, you ain't going nowhere, all right? It don't matter how much money you got, you ain't going nowhere because everything that you own Everything that you do is going to be tied to the system. It's going to be tied to your credit score. So if you ain't got no score, and if you're offending 
the the elites in, in uh, any way. You're not going to be able to work. You're not going to be able to, you know, even get inside your home. This this is the uh, the system that is that is set up. It says uh, currently only a handful of countries have operational CBDCs, although regulators in many major economies are studying their benefits. The U.S. Federal Reserve, the Bank of England, and Bank of Japan are among the central banks currently testing CBDC models. So we see that America, the Bank of England, and Japan, they are all currently testing CBDCs quietly. These things are not in the news. See, while they doing these things behind the scenes, they they bogging you down with all kind of BS, all kind of distractions, but... This is what they're not talking about. All right. This is why the men of the Lord are here. You see, to bring these things out, man. Because the devil, all he's going to do is constantly deceive you. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what he was set up to do. It says, uh, let me see here. There was a point. There was a point in here. Um, okay. Yeah. The testing on CBDCs is part of a broader push by SWIFT. To play a role in creating inter interoperability -oper between the array of digital trade platforms on the market. <clears throat> so that's going into the what? That's going into like WorldCoin and Bitcoin, uh, Doge Coin, right? Different uh, digital payment systems that already exist. You know, they're they're they're, they're you know they're basically trying to bring all these other. Uh, digital currencies on board with this central bank currency so that means that they're gonna eventually consolidate all these other um you know mediums of payment anyway <laughs> you see so just like bro was saying yeah get get you know what I'm saying get you some bitcoin well guess what bitcoin is going to be connected to the central bank too this is basically what they're telling you um should allow companies to be plugged into just one platform and still be able to trade with users of other platforms. While fully paperless transactions are still rare, their number is expected to grow exponentially as governments around the world develop legislation giving legal recognition to digital versions of paper documents such as bills of lading. You see that? So that tells you what? That this fiat currency, okay, which fiat means that it wasn't meant to last forever. You know, this this is just something temporary, man, until they're gonna bring about a new system of payment. All right, so they're basically telling you that, you know, the you know, uh physical money is being deliberately and purposefully phased out in favor of the CBDCs. All right. The testing of the CBDC solution was designed in conjunction with banks and other businesses active in trade finance. Interoperability between DLT networks is an important piece of the puzzle to enable efficient connectivity between CBDC and other networks and to avoid silos. Uh, so yeah, that's that's basically that's basically um Yeah, that's basically the point of the article, man. You see, but just know that the mark is, is uh, upon us. Really, it's already here. Like I said, people already have it. It just hasn't been mandated on a worldwide scale. All right? But I believe, you know, just through the spirit, if they don't roll it out this year, which is a high possibility that they will, you know, because th this is a year that... uh. Many, many uh, black swan events, you know, many crises are, you know, popping up. Infrastructure is being attacked. They, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they talking about blackouts and cyber attacks here and there. So more than likely, there is going to be a, a big cyber attack on these banks. You know, you might wake up one day and, and you hear that um, nobody can withdraw cash. Nobody can open up their their bank account just like how they did with the AT&T just like how they did with the pharmacies man best believe when 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 the time is right the elites are going to attack these banks the same way and the excuse is going to be oh 
well, the banks are down. No one can take money out. We're going to have to figure out what's going on. And the solution is going to be well here. We have this digital CBDC. And the thing about it is people, you know, people are going to have mixed emotions about it because people have heard about CBDCs, but they, you know, people still like the option to have cash. You know, digital payments is cool, but people still like the option to, you know, pay for things anonymously, you know. So when they do come and mandate this thing, they're 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 going to come with all the conveniences. And, yeah, you know, you, you know, you can use this anywhere. This is 24 seven. You know, it's it's very secure. It's, it's uh, on the blockchain. <laughs> you know, that's going to be the first step. Then they're going to tell you, yeah, well, you got to take this device because, um, you know, cars are not secure. You know, pin numbers are not secure because everything's being hacked. So the safest way that they can't hack you is to put this technology inside of your body. That's how they're going to present it. You see? But yeah, man, you know, all the things that, that are going on, these black swan events, all of this is going to lead to them uh, implementing the uh, CBDC and eventually mandating the MOT to the B. So it's either you're going to bow down or uh, you're going you're going to be outside the system. That's it. You know, but if you love this world, then you're going to go ahead and, and you're going to take the devil's solution. You know, you're you're going to accept the uh, beast mark, man. But if you love your how about your shy and, and you fear the Lord, you understand that that's not an option because the judgment for taking the mark you know, that's in the outline in uh, Revelation, the 14th chapter. The judgment for taking a mark is that you can't repent from that. You know, once you take the MOT to the B, you're guaranteed to be destroyed, man. All right. So for the true believers, that's that's not even an option. And ultimately, uh, we know that we are going to be tempted with this thing, but the Lord is going to be with us through it all. You know, the Lord is going to be with us every every step of the way. You know, keeping us in that spirit, keeping us faithful so that we can uh, endure through this hour. You know, but we just got to believe that the Lord is with us, man. You know, but the devil, he about to bring it. So, and you know, we, we always go into it. We may sound like a, <laughs> you know, like we just keep going on and on and on about the MOTB. When is it going to come? Hey, well, guess what? It's coming soon, man. It's coming soon. So with that, hopefully this lesson was edifying. I'm going to close out here. Call hello. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Bashem Rakakadash. And until next time, Shalom to the elect.